The Turner syndrome disease is a chromosomal disorder that only occurs in females. It is usually discovered when the girl is around five years old. But how is it discovered? The disease is usually noticed because of a short stature, web neck or hands, and the swelling on the hands or the neck. The swelling is called lymphedema. Let's do a quick explanation of this word. Lymphedema is a swelling that generally occurs in your hands or your legs. It is most commonly caused by the removal or the damage of your lymph. Your lymph is a fluid that runs through your tissues. This is a diagram of an ovary. In the ovary, there are hormones called oestrogen and progesterone. They are created in there. With a person that has Turner syndrome, those hormones are not created. This causes a girl not to get their growth spurt and not to get their period. What are the chances of a girl to get the Turner syndrome? It is very unlikely for a girl to get Turner syndrome. It's not passed on from the parental genes. It happens as a random event during meiosis. The syndrome happens one in every 2,500 girls. For example, if our whole school was all girls, then approximately one of those girls would have the Turner syndrome disease. As we know, there are around 7 billion people in this world, where around half of them are females. So when we divide 3.5 billion over 2,500, we get 1 million and 400 girls with the Turner syndrome disease. Genetically, how does this happen? As we know, women have two copies of X chromosomes and men have X and Y chromosomes. The syndrome results when there is only one X chromosome present. Here there are 10 girls with the Turner syndrome disease. 50% are going to have just one X chromosome. 30% are gonna have a partially missing chromosome. So they're gonna have one X chromosome and then one that's partially missing. And the last two girls are gonna have a rearranged chromosome, which basically means it's gonna have a chromosome with a different structure. It's gonna look different from a normal chromosome. There's a gene that is lost when one of the chromosomes is not there. This gene codes a protein called SHOX. The function of this protein is to develop the bones inside of the human body. How do we get the Turner syndrome disease? The Turner syndrome disease is received as a random event during fertilization. Fertilization is when the sperm cell meets the ovum in the ovary. So when the sperm cell meets the ovum, they create a zygote cell, which is a fertilized egg. This zygote cell starts to develop into a small human being of a time period of around 9 months. Relating this topic to the Turner syndrome disease, something has to go wrong in the creating of the zygote cell in order for someone to get the syndrome. Before we do the Punnett square, we have to know what is different about the normal chromosomes. Sometimes, in the sperm cell, the X and Y of the sex chromosomes fail to separate. This could also happen in the female's ovum, causing there to be an unseparated XX chromosome. This leads to the female's Punnett square to look something like this. As you can see in this Punnett square, there is an O, which is recessive and it's basically nothing. As you can see in the top left, the two X's have failed to separate. This leads to the possibility of a chromosome with three X's, which is the trisomy X, and a possibility with a chromosome XXY, which is the Klinefelter syndrome. And then XO, which is basically 1X chromosome, which is the Turner syndrome disease. And you have YO, which is a non-viable chromosome. This is an example of a male's Punnett square. As you can see, the X and Y fail to separate. This leads to a 50% chance of creating a child with the Klinefelter syndrome. And it, it leads to a 50% chance of creating a girl with the Turner syndrome disease. For this reason, it is more likely that the Turner syndrome disease is caused by the father. The reason this happened is because of a non-disjunction. Non-disjunction is the failure of homologous chromosomes to split during nuclear division. Meiosis with the Turner syndrome disease. Let's say a cell has eight chromosomes. 
The cell right here has seven because it has one less X chromosome because of the Turner syndrome disease. Interphase has just happened, and in a normal cell, there would now be eight double-stranded chromosomes. But because of the Turner syndrome disease, there are seven double-stranded chromosomes. This is due to the one less X chromosome. Now the cell with the double-stranded chromosomes has split up into two different daughter cells. Each cell now has an uneven amount of chromosomes. This is due to the Turner syndrome disease. The daughter cells have now split up into four. These four cells now have single-stranded chromosomes. But again, there's an uneven amount in two of the cells due to the Turner syndrome disease. This was just an example of meiosis, where a normal cell would have eight chromosomes, but with the Turner syndrome disease lacking one X chromosome, seven. But usually a normal cell has 46 chromosomes, but the Turner syndrome disease is also known as 45X, meaning that it has one less X chromosome, so 45 chromosomes in total. But this was just an easier way to show it with less chromosomes. So why is this information important for high school students? I believe this information is important for high school students because it allows them to learn how your parents affect your conditions. It is also interesting to learn why we are the way we are. Another reason why I find it important is learning about different diseases that could potentially happen to our future children and also finding out why they're received using scientific knowledge.